Welcome to the science of Harrow. I'm Lyle, forensic botanophile. Is that a real word? Yes, it is a real word, and it's worth 18 points in Scrabble. Go away. <clears throat> On this episode, we're branching out into forensic botany. Forensic botany is the use of plants, pollen, seeds, leaves, flowers, fruits and wood in the investigation of a criminal case. You might be surprised to learn that when it comes to murder, plants make incredibly reliable witnesses. Which reminds me of an old saying amongst forensic botanists, if a man is killed in the forest and no one is around to hear it, the trees will leave clues. And it'll become a crime scene, which is exactly what happened when Nichols, Harrow, and I took a little lad's camping trip and discovered a corpse. What is that? It's not native. The tree that tipped us off was Erythroxylum coca, native to South America, and in this instance sprouted from the seed inside a victim's stomach. The stimulant derived from its leaves is known on the street as Paradise White. No gold dust. No, Bolivian marching powder. No, co coke. Cocaine. Anyway, Erythroxylum coca isn't the only plant capable of growing from grizzly origins. There are some species of mushrooms that thrive in plots of decomposing flesh. When bodies decompose in the great outdoors, they release nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and magnesium into the soil. Two closely related groups of fungi, the ammonia fungi and the post-putrefaction fungi, love this cocktail of nutrient-rich compounds. So, they tend to grow near large dead organisms, often marking grave sites, which is why a number of mushroom hunters around the world have stumbled across human remains. But, as much as I love plants, I have to admit that they are not the only star witness of the natural world. Insects are also noble agents of truth. Which brings us to our side note, forensic entomology. Allow me to introduce you to the maggot milkshake, a concoction created by scientists at the Virginia Commonwealth University in a bid to help solve crimes. Long after flesh-eating bugs reduce a body to bone, their tiny insides are filled with answers to forensic questions like how and when the person died. And the recipe to procure those answers is simple. All you need is one cadaver, lots of maggots, and a bullet blender. First off, take the maggots from the decomposing body and grind them into a smooth paste. Then take samples of the blended mixture and decant into test tubes. Add a sprinkle of special chemicals to help separate the toxins, and voila! You can tell what a person consumed before death. Cocaine, heroin, even poison. All very helpful pieces of information in a criminal investigation. Now, as my mother used to say, you are what you eat, Lyle. Or, in this case, you are what eats you. <laughs> mm. Lyle. What? It's a berry. <laughs>